For many years, apple cider vinegar has been used as a natural remedy for the treatment of many health problems, ranging from obesity to bacterial infections. Although ACV is best known for its many health benefits, it is also very important to know that this amazing vinegar can cause side effects when used with certain medications. In addition to this, you should also avoid taking ACV if you suffer from some medical conditions. There are countless of reasons why many people regularly consume apple cider vinegar. For instance, according to some recent studies, ACV causes the stomach to empty slowly, which makes people feel full longer and promotes weight loss. A Chinese study has also discovered that regular consumption of ACV reduces the risk of esophageal cancer by a whopping 37%. As a result of its strong antibacterial and antifungal properties, taking ACV orally or applying it to your skin topically can stop the growth of a yeast infection. Moreover, few other studies have shown that the acetic acid found in apple cider vinegar helps reduce blood pressure, bad cholesterol, and may even help diabetics to balance their blood sugar levels. Avoid using ACV if you are taking any of the following medications. Digoxin. Also being sold under the name Lanoxin, is a medication which is used for the treatment of heart problems. If you use apple cider vinegar in combination with this medication, ACV will prevent the absorption of potassium, which will greatly increase the side effects of Lanoxin. Some of these side effects include vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, vision changes, and mood swings. Diuretics such as diarrhea, lasix, thalatone, and microzide, are used in the treatment of bloating, and they stimulate the body to shed water. As you probably know, potassium is crucial for keeping a proper water balance in the body, so, if you use apple cider vinegar, the absorption of this mineral will be stopped, which may lead to dehydration. In this way, the effects of the drugs will be completely nullified. Insulin most people who suffer from diabetes control their blood sugar levels by taking insulin. Despite the fact that some studies suggest that ACV may help diabetics to balance their blood sugar levels, it should never be taken by a diabetic who also uses insulin since the simultaneous use of ACV and insulin can lead to extremely low blood sugar and potassium levels. Pregnant women and nursing mothers should avoid taking regular doses of ACV because it is not known whether apple cider vinegar is safe for fetuses and infants. People who suffer from bladder cancer. Some recent studies have shown that regular intake of ACV leads to faster growth of bladder cancer in people who suffer from this serious medical condition. Postmenopausal women. Recent studies have shown that regular consumption of apple cider vinegar can reduce potassium levels and induce osteoporosis. Therefore, postmenopausal women who are already at risk for reduced bone density must avoid taking excessive amounts of ACV. Conclusion Like any nutritional supplement, ACV can be extremely helpful if used correctly or very harmful if taken unwisely. If you want to include apple cider vinegar in your diet, we recommend you to talk with your doctor in order to find out the best way to get the most of its healing properties. Most doctors usually advise their patients to consume a tablespoon or two each day, diluted with water, in order to prevent the acid from being harmful to the enamel of the teeth, or the gut lining.